The Stop. style of the gun doesn't dictate the lethality, but I think... That brought some strong reaction. The reason we know it's not true is because we talked to a trauma surgeon at OHSU. The AR-15 rifle has been used in 11 mass shootings over the past 10 years, including the recent massacre in Uvalde, Texas, as well as school shootings at Sandy Hook in Parkland, Florida. It's a semi-automatic rifle, and the ammunition it uses causes a lot more damage to the human body than a handgun. We asked Dr. Martin Schreiber uh, to describe that in detail. A warning now before he does. What he told us was pretty graphic. Those bullets from a, a high-powered rifle have a, a velocity of somewhere around 3,000 feet per second, which can impart massive amounts of tissue injury to the human body. They will frequently go through the human body, and as they travel through the body, they'll destroy all the organs uh, in the region of where they're traveling. And that's really due to the kinetic energy that those, those uh, bullets impart. So any, any centrally fired weapon, if it's hit, hit anywhere in the central portion of the body, will blow a huge hole in a human being, particularly the exit wound, and uh, it'll almost uh, always be lethal. Gunshot wounds to the head with high-powered rifles are um, almost 100% lethal without personal protective equipment. The only reason that I can think of a person wanting to own those weapons is that they're gonna, if their intention is to be able to kill either a single person or numerous people. If those weapons become more common in the Portland region, I won't even see the patients because those patients are going to die in the field. Unless they have very peripheral injuries, uh, we'll see very few of those patients in the hospital because they will be dead in the field. Now, it's one thing to hear him describe the damage an AR-15 can do. It's another to actually visualize it. HBO's Vice News has a story about this. We think it's worth your time. They demonstrate what happens when a bullet from an AR-15 is fired through a gel block meant to represent human flesh. You can see there, it doesn't travel straight through. The impact pretty much makes the gel explode from the inside. If you want to watch their full report, we have a link to it on our social media pages.